Now these are a set of things that you won't see too often. There must be many old soldiers out there who remember Exercise Crusade 80, which was held in Germany. Exercise Crusade 80, which was held in 1980, was held between 11th and 26th September 1980. It was then the biggest British Army of the Rhine exercise involving British and American troops in a what-if scenario if Russia should invade the West. Um, at the time, in 1980, it was the biggest exercise of its kind. It was later trounced by, I think it was Exercise Lionheart, which was 1984. But these are from Exercise Crusade 80. The British part in the exercise was called Spear Point 80. Hence, the newspapers are called Spear Point. Um, my dad was involved in it. That's how we got these rare newspapers. He was... Uh, a fuel tanker driver, 22,000 litre Ford and tanker driver with the Royal Army Ordnance Corps. So he supplied fuel to the troops taking part. That's how we've got these newspapers. But th there must be rare things because I've, n I've never seen any other examples. So they must have been read and then disposed of. But my dad kept these ones, fortunately, so that all these years later, they can be shown on the YouTube. So this is Spear Point News, issue number one. And it says, welcome to Europe, which shows a mighty anti-tank transporter with a chieftain tank coming off a, a ship. And the blurb reads, the biggest British exercise to be held since the formation of the NATO alliance is poised to enter the most ambitious phase, with 63,000 troops ready to do battle. Tanks, guns, men and material have moved into their positions for exercise spear point, the first British Corps field training exercise with reinforcements from Britain, USA and West Germany. The 14 day exercise will train for the operation and support of the restructured divisions in the Corps, acceptance and deployment of reinforcements. The 63,000 active participants in Spear Point will use over 850 main battle tanks, nearly 3,000 tracked vehicles, 18,000 wheeled vehicles and 350 helicopters. In the air, pilots from five NATO countries may fly up to 600 sorties a day. The majority of the ground formations will be formed by three of the four British Armoured Divisions stationed in West Germany, reinforced as they would be in war by UK-based territorial and regular troops. The American main contribution is their 2nd Armoured Division from Fort Hood in Texas and part of the 82nd Airborne Division from Fort Bragg. The Federal Republic of Germany are contributing the 3rd Panzer Brigade. Planning Crusader started two years ago and British contingency plans for mobilisation, defence of the United Kingdom and reinforcement of British forces in Germany are being tested in a way and on a scale never before attempted. So we have the Commander-in-Chief of the British Army of the Rhine's kind of welcome to you, so it's in both English and the same things in German as well. So we have inside Armoured Express, Brigade, Achtung, Jogtrot, and the page three soldier bird. So this is kind of regular features. So inside we have the soldier bird. Then we have the Armoured Express section. Hell on wheels reunite in Germany. Nearly 8,000 soldiers from the 2nd Armoured Division Fort Hood, Texas will be joined by about 3,000 soldiers of the 2nd Armoured Division. Stations at Galstead, West Germany for Reforger 80. It will be the first training exercise to involve the majority of both units. So the American side was called Reforger. Then we have the US Army convoy heading north. Then we have RAF liftoff, flying policemen. Counting the cost of Crusader. Exercise do's and don'ts. These are aimed at soldiers. Do treat the local population, officials and police with every courtesy and show consideration for their interest. 2. Avoid all unnecessary damage, especially damage to agricultural land, crops, forestry and young tree plantations. In the recovery of bog vehicles, the use of heavy recovery vehicles often leads to damage greater than that caused by the vehicles originally bogged. Hiring farm horses or agricultural tractors is often more effective and cheaper. By not driving heavy vehicles, especially armoured vehicles, over weak bridges not designed to take their weight, silage pits, concrete manhole covers, drains, flood banks, light concrete, agricultural roads and pipelines. If damage is inadvertently caused, repair it 
if you can, but always report the details to your next hire formation. Three, be especially careful about nature sanctuaries, water catchment areas, plantations of young trees and nursery seed beds. The latter may be marked by rectangular PVC signs 42 cm by 30 cm with diagonal stripes in yellow and red with an official stamp Schutz Gebiet für Safput. Areas containing ancient monuments and prehistoric graves, grave reserves, areas in the vicinity of holiday resorts and spas. Four, fill in all digging as soon as sites are vacated or when the training is complete. If holes cannot be filled in on vacation, the, the neutral organization is to mark the guard, mark and guard them in order to prevent accidents to animals and people and also to prevent pilferage of defense stores. Five, adhere to civil traffic regulations. Note in particular that roadblocks may not be erected on public roads except in consultation with the German police. Note also that unlighted military vehicles may not operate on public roads unless by special arrangement with the German police. Six, enforce the strictest fire precautions at all time, but particularly in woodland, in heath areas, farms and barns. Seven, be extremely careful in your use of explosive, blank ammunition and pyrotechnics, and make sure that all unused items are returned to store or destroyed. Keep well away from built-up areas or individual dwellings, road railways and livestock. Eight, be sure that telephone cables do not endanger the public. Nine, leave all places you occupy clean and tidy. Now there's do not. Do not enter or damage standing crops or agricultural land, especially newly sown fields, unless tactical realism will be prejudiced. Tanks are to avoid unnecessary turning on agricultural land and restrict the number of gaps made in fences to a minimum. Do not enter for the purpose of the exercise railway buildings and good yards, airfields except where special arrangements have been previously made. Private buildings without the prior permission of the owner or tenant, religious buildings and cemeteries, government or municipal offices, hospitals and similar institutions, industrial premises, any spa town. Do not cut down tree branches or trees for camouflage materials, firewood, revetting material or any other purpose and do not damage trees by driving in nails. Do not steal fruit and vegetables. Remember, fruit trees on the sides of roads are private property. Do not dig into or otherwise damage flood banks and dikes. Do not leave gates open or fences damaged so that livestock can stray. Do not be careless in the disposal of all razor blades, empty bottles, tins, polythene bags and other refuse likely to cause injury to humans and livestock. Do not be, mis be misled into thinking that your training facilities carry the right to fish or shoot game at will. They do not, and you may find yourself accused of poaching. Do not destroy ant heaps which are protected in many forest areas. Do not light fires or handle fuel in buildings of any kind or near straw or haystacks. Do not smoke in barns or farm buildings except when inside a vehicle which is specific, which in specifically marked to show that smoking within it is permitted. Do not throw cigarette ends or spent matches carelessly away in woodlands or farms. Do not try to be clever at the local's expense. Do not drive above the correct speed limit for your vehicle or above the speed limit laid down by the civil authorities. So that's the do's and do nots aimed at the soldiers. And we carry on. The biggest troop movement in Europe for 30 years. And we have the old Bedford MK trucks. Female courier. Seven field force, German army ferried across the Rhine. The long jog is complete. Then we have the German side of it, Brigade Achtung. And all of this is in German for the German troops. We have cartoons. And the jagged scar across the face of Germany about the Berlin Wall. About the inner German border. And there's 
DDR security installation is now all obsolete. Enough is TMN. The rolls fo press focus on us as the action starts. Then getting it all together. And then welcome the Fed the Federal Republic of Germany lies in the middle of Europe. It's a welcome sign. So that's that's issue number one of Spear Point News. This is issue number two. How to move tanks and save money. The British Army put more tanks into the battle positions last Friday night, 12th September, than in any one move since World War II. Loaded onto their transporters, 130 chieftains, a complete division, left Detmold at midnight at dawn and were east of Heidelsheim, 100 miles away. Tanks cost £25 a mile to run on roads. Railway wagons cost £1,000 each to hire and can carry only one chieftain. Mustering every one of their 400 men, 7th Tank Transport Regiment, Roll Corps Transport, stretched their convoy for 32 miles, but they left 100 yards between each of the 60-foot-long low loaders for private cars to overtake easily. Rain dampens play so far in the war. You have the obligatory soldier bird. Again, Panzer Brigade 3 details. Then a 112 Provost Company, military police, went to the aid of a motorcyclist involved in a civilian accident. So I wonder who's got that. An as yet unknown souvenir hunter is being sought by 115 Northumbrian Regiment Royal Coast Transport Volunteers after their core flag disappeared overnight from the location near Bad Mon Munde. I wonder where that's gone. The first, the first fatality of the exercise, driver Clive Maloney of one squadron, Royal Coast Transport from Colchester, was the first fatality of the exercise. The Land Rover he was driving was involved in a collision with a civilian car at Bisping and Sud near Saltow on Tuesday. Driver Maloney came from Grantham in Lincolnshire. And a driver is seriously in the hospital with monoxide poisoning after sleeping in a Land Rover which was scrimmed up alongside a working generator. The fumes from the generator exhaust seeped into the Land Rover. A medium-sized factory was blacked out at Beltrum when a medium digger from B Company, 1st Battalion, the Duke of Edinburgh's Royal Regiment, severed a 20,000 volt cable. A couple of field ambulance crews got a forcible reminder of the need for good map reading when an irate farmer loosed off a shotgun over their heads. The puzzled crews of the two AFV 432s had stopped at the farm to ask the way. The farmer went back into his house and returned with a shotgun. No damage was done as the cartridges went off into the air, but it's understood that the incident sparked off a request for a crash course in map reading from a couple of white-faced medics. Carry on through, if I can get it open. Bugler. Again, pictures of the exercise with the GPMGs. The SLR, SR6 respirators. This is all A Company, second roll green jackets. Again, this, this is news for the American troops. Kansas Guardsmen help set up support. US soldiers firing the German G3 rifle. More US news. In the back, we have this. NATO insignia, so the NATO code for the insignia, German Army Navy Air Force, British Army Navy Air Force, US Army Navy Air Force, and other ranks and officers insignia. So that's 
issue number two. This one being issue number three. The Panzer's Roll and the Jocks Drop In. Men of the 15th Scottish Battalion, the Parachute Regiment. Troops are gathering for the attack as the exercise moves into its next important phase. Yesterday, Sunday, saw a lull in the fight in as the Orange Enemy, in inverted commas, secured their bridgeheads over the River Lean and Blue Forces completed their withdrawal to the new defensive positions. The Panzers of Panzer Brigade 3 have now joined the fray in the Brunswick area. Again, more news for the German troops. American news. 82nd troops prove their deployment ability. 2nd Armoured NCO uses exercises to re-enlist. Then we have a bridge not far enough. American Airborne successfully linked up with the British Saw Brothers in the Disruption Brigade on a series of three bridges knocked out by the combined force only minutes after the American drop. Bridges across the Midland Canal were taken by the brigade in short actions with the 82nd Airborne marching the five miles to their objective where they linked up with 2nd Battalion the Royal Green Jackets who had chopped in by Chinook. In fact, it was the Green Jackets who started the operation by driving straight down the road to the ex-army Bailey Bridge near Vessel in their open top Land Rover. As the two rovers screamed to a halt, virtually on the bridge yelling orange forces, green jackets bolted out. 1st Battalion Wessex Volunteers in the positions. Private Grant White and Private Rab McDonald from Dundee helped secure Wessex Bridge for 15 para. Walking with an M60. And we have the obligatory soldier bird. Troops dig in down on the farm. American news. Then we have the obligatory details on the back. Duty and tax free allowances. Items that you can't take back. Prohibited and restricted goods. The customs officer will be able to provide full information. This is a list of the commoner and more frequently met items. Controlled drugs, firearms, flick knives, counterfeit coins, horror comics, indecent and obscene books, magazines, films and other articles, radio transmitters, walkie talkies, citizens band radios, remember them. Meat and poultry. Plant bulbs, trees, potatoes, most animals and birds. Articles derived from rare species including fur skins, ivory, etc, etc. So that's issue number three. And issue number four is the last issue. Battle in Blues of all these chiefs and tanks. The major counter-attack by the 1st British Corps halted and then pushed back the invading Orange forces a full 30 kilometres yesterday as Spear Point entered its final phases. Taking part in the attack in the north were elements of the British 1st Armoured Division, in the south the complete British 2nd Armoured Division and in the centre American 2nd Armoured Division reinforced by British Task Force and two British battalions from 7th Field Force. And this is goodbye and thanks. From Lieutenant General Sir Peter Ling, Commander of the British Corps. Two years of planning for two weeks of action, Spear Point has been the largest exercise undertaken by British forces since the end of conscription and the first to practice the whole machinery of mobilisation and reinforcement of the Corps. Allied forces from Germany and United States have worked with us on the ground and we have had support in the air from every nation in NATO's central region. Many Commonwealth countries sent us men to help the umpires and other organisations. The exercise may be over, 
but its value is just beginning. Experienced gears at all level will provide the basis for refining plans, designing new equipment and developing new tactics so the first British Corps can improve its deterrent value and so help to prevent war. The size of the exercise must have meant that some of you were less lucky than others in getting a share of the excitement. Units had to have scope for free play, which has meant that some of you had been unfortunate and missed the battle plan for you. If this happened and you were one of the unfortunates, sorry, but your presence on the exercise was one more piece of the jigsaw that tested the command structure, the movements and the administration systems. Remember that by your very present logistics we kept busy, busy, busy. So this is the last one. We have the obligatory soldier bird. And this is the kind of petrol tanker that my dad used to drive a Ford in 22,000 litre. This one's been involved in an accident. Got the German side of things. So this may even be from the same unit that my dad was in. A fully laden petrol tanker went off the road on a bend near Lorenstein on Monday with 12,000 gallons of fuel on board. A 33 Squadron Royal Corps of Transport. Article on the Eager Beaver forklift. Then, if we can get this page open, we have the Orange Advance ground to a halt on Tuesday morning against the anti tank weaponry of Blue Forces. Blue Armour Advance. Milan team waits for the enemy. The war goes on. Bridge layers, etc., etc. And American news. We have supply depot records at first. Unit scouts lead charge. Infantry will meet the enemy. Cartoon on the back, hide and seek harriers. Then a bit about Soldier Magazine, which I think it's still on the go, is it? A bit of blurb on the back. So that's the four newspapers that were produced. And also produced was this obsolete map. This is a, a, council, a council map of Germany from I think 1972-ish. On one side it's a council map and on the other side it's the obligatory Spear Point 80 pinup. And to finish it off we have my dad's actual map this map it's the official british army of the rhine map this particular one's 1972 and it's a huge map of germany and surrounding areas british army of the rhine road map so that's some fair enough post-war items but nonetheless very very rare because I've not seen another set like that that's a complete set of items from the British side of Operation Crusader 80